afternoon baseball now from the home of the Mets, City Field in New York. Today we've got a contest out of the National League East between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. Alongside Mark DeRozan, Yo. Dan Plezak, and guys, the Yo. Mets are looking to break out the brooms here at home. Yeah, and you don't want to get complacent. You steal the first three games and you're feeling like, man, we got this series already wrapped up. But you can't let the other team up off the mat right here. You have to stay focused, out on the mound, clean defense, everything it takes. You don't get many opportunities throughout the course of a season for three game sweeps, let alone a potential four game sweep. Riding in is Gerald Hayden and with numbers like those he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. He comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch. He looked like a caveman and swing in the club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. And a swing and a miss. So the NL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, and there are two gone. So next to bat will be Luis Garcia. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hit on the ground to third. Throw cleanly oh. into first, and that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three, and we are tied nothing nothing. Here now is Juan Soto, hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a job back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. And now, Gerald Hayden. He'll stare down without a doubt. One of the elite starting pitchers in the game today. All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly. From the stretch. Swing and a miss, 0 oh, 1. Count. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Hey, come on, now one time right here. The 0 2 once more. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, Dero, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways, and this number's getting just straight ridiculous. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Popped up. Number 56 is under it, no problem, one away. So here's Pete Alonzo. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg is four for 14. Here's a look over at first and a dive, but he's back in. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. The tag gets one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. 
fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Next up, Gerald Hayden. Now and they'll really have to dial it in here, going up against one of the best strikeout relievers DJ. around. Hey, have a rip. Like can. Strasburg comes set. First pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, that was a well-executed pitch down and away. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offense. That's a nice piece of hit. Maybe not what he was looking for, but the result was there. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Sent on the ground yeah, up to yeah, second. Yeah. On the first, oh. and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're through six full. It's the Nationals two, and the Mets nothing. Stepping in once again is Gerald Hayden. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. He's set. Here it comes. And he swings right over the top of this one. Nothing in one. Hey, let her rip. Let her rip. The 0 1. And this is one ball, high, a ball strike. and a strike. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch hey, like that to this guy, up. that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And he this just guy, misses one, two, inside with the fastball there. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. He makes the throw to first, two down. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. New York jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. John Brebbia gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season.